okay so welcome back to my channel once again and uh, in my previous video i have explained how to perform uh, molecular simulation dynamics and i showed you the entire procedure to perform molecular simulation dynamics up to the final uh, md production run so after the md simulation is completed uh, i just wanted to bring to a notice that these are the files that we will obtain uh, as an output after performing molecular simulation dynamics now in this video uh, the focus is that by using the trajectory files how we can visualize the results of md simulation in the form of the movie so for that what we will do is that uh, we have to make use of the program which is UCSF Chimera so I will just open this UCSF Chimera and I will just scroll it over here and uh, at the same time I will keep this folder or the directory open so that we can understand which are the output files so once this UCSF Chimera is open in front of you what you need to do is that you have to go to tools uh, onto the menu bar uh, so you hover around this option which says md ensemble analysis so you just go over here move your cursor and you just go to this option which says md movie so you click over it now as you can see uh, there are certain options over here what kind of uh, trajectory format is so in this case we have done gromax okay so there are so many options over here but as we have performed molecular simulation dynamics in our previous video with the help of gromax so i will choose gromax over here as the output files are also in the format of gromax so i will choose gromax and now it will say that uh, you have to uh, i will just delete this for a while okay so here uh, it is going to okay so here uh, it is telling to give you the input file which is the tpr file and the trajectory file which is either trr or xtc file so now let us just see over here on onto the left hand side uh, of our screen okay so uh, just let me keep this window open okay so input file is tpr and as you can see uh, this file in this window this is the tpr file so we will open this tpr file over here md.tpr and the trajectory file should have the extension trr or xtc in this case we have got the file which is md.xtc so let us just open this file uh, so i will go to desktop and we will go to the working directory which is gromax protein ligand main onto our desktop so i will just open this now we need to search for tpr file which is over here and which tpr file md.tpr so i will just hover around till i find this file so md.tpr is this one so i will simply click on it and set it as an input location and for the trajectory file i will just go to browse and search for md.xtc so this is the file that we are looking for and uh, we are in the same folder which is gromax protein ligand main uh, which is also mentioned over here so in this folder we are looking for the file which is md.xtc which is this one md.xtc and i will simply press on set in input location okay so i have uh, introduced or i have provided the proper files and now i will simply press on ok so now as soon as i press on ok uh, a window like this will open so i will just make it as a full screen so that you can see okay and as you can see this are uh, this is the entire protein uh, ligand complex that we have um, so and if i just for now if i simply play this video like this in the native form it will look something like this okay uh, but for better visualization what i will do is that for now i will keep only the protein and the ligand and i will delete rest of the things so i will just go to select go to residues i will go to i will select cl first i'll go to actions atoms and bonds and i will delete i will go to select residue 
I will select sol. So as soon as I select sol, it will select most of the things. It it will select all the water molecules uh, inside the uh, MD simulation box. I will go to actions, atoms and bonds, and then I will delete them as well. Now I am left with these purple dots. So uh, as I as it is say Na, that is sodium uh, ions are there. So these are all the sodium ions. I will go to atoms and bonds and I will simply delete them okay so I am now left with only my protein and the ligand as you can see over here okay so uh, okay so I have my protein and the ligand over here okay we'll just arrange it in a proper way so that I can show you it in a better way now what I will do is that I will just select the residue and I will give it a different color I'll go to this and I will give color I can give it a sign or green let let it be cyan okay so this is the ligand and the receptor in this way just keep it in keep it something like this so it is it can be visualized better now I will just go to select and I will clear the selection if you want I can even zoom it a little like this okay or some better pose if you can like mm, I think this is the best one like like this okay so this is the main core of the ligand and uh, as as I just open this I can reduce the speed by a little and then I can press play okay so as you can see this is how the uh, MD simulation of the ligand and the protein has done has been performed now if you properly see uh, the main core of the ligand is very rigid and it is it is properly fitting into the cavity and it is not moving much whereas the outer part of the ligand as you see over here uh, if you, I will just pause it for a while just you see as, as the outer part of the ligand it is more exposed to the solvents and because of that it is not been holded up properly so uh, the core part is fitting inside the cavity very well whereas the terminal part which is uh, close to the exposure with the solvents it is m m vibrating more okay so i will just play a, a little more so that you can get the better ideas okay so if you just see the core is absolutely fixed inside the cavity which is very good and even the terminal part if you just see it is not hovering around much uh, so we can i will just pause for a while okay so every frame is the output uh, in the form of a trajectory all the frames compiled together it is it becomes one trajectory of one md simulation and now in my next video i will also explain how you can analyze this data uh, what is rmsd what is rmsf so rmsd I will, I will just explain uh, very briefly over here every movement the movement of ligand with respect to protein if your ligand is say for instance it is moving out of this active site then the movement of this ligand becomes more than that of the vibration of the protein but if your ligand is vibrating that much which is equivalent to that of the protein means that the ligand is fitted inside the cavity uh, more rigidly means the interaction is better so in those cases the rmsd values of ligand and the protein becomes equal so if the rmsd value means the movement of the protein and the ligand with respect to each other is equal means that the entire complex is uh, uh, is fitting in very properly but if the rmsd of ligand is more than that of the protein means either the ligand is coming out of the active site or it is changing the orientation and reorienting itself into another pose okay so that is the basic idea if you just see i will just play it i can i can also increase the speed like this this is the full speed this is how uh, the md simulation at full speed looks like so this is the vibrations uh, of the protein and the ligand within 2 nanoseconds md run 
now what are the features that we have and what we can do with this is the next question so you can pause your protein at any given point and you can export that pose of protein and ligand as a single pdb file okay so as you can say as you can see uh, it will export that particular pose uh, as the pdb file okay so you can export one frame at equidistance and you can uh, export say around 15 to 20 frames or 10 frames within this two nanoseconds so you can export one file over here okay uh, then you can export another file at this place fourth third file at this place fourth over here fifth over here and the last one which is the last post okay so you export six different pdb files which is corresponding to six different frames of the entire trajectory and then you can superimpose it to understand what is the overall movement of the protein and the ligand i'm not going to show that the entire thing why because i've already made a video on it so you export uh, the different frames so you just go to file and export that frame okay so it says uh, current frame so whatever frame where you are pressing file and save at uh, save as pdb that frame is exported out as the pdb uh, file so you can export multiple pdb files and then you can superimpose it uh, within ucsf chimera itself I have made a separate video so let just let me show you that so in in this uh, playlist of mine if you just go and if you just see this episode 5 uh, I have explained how to superimpose identical proteins in UCSF chimera so you can use the same procedure to superimpose different uh, frames of the same trajectory in the PDB format and then you can have the clear picture how much the protein and the ligands are uh, moving around throughout the MD simulation run. Another very important thing that I wanted to explain you is that uh, when we are say for having this kind of uh, trajectory we can also make a movie out of it and we can also export the movie into the mp4 format and uh, if you are very much interested in your research uh, and if you want to uh, provide this movie as a supplementary material to your uh, uh, journal then i will show you exactly how you can do that so i will just show you can just select a appropriate uh, location where you can see your protein and the ligand like this so here you can see the protein as well as the ligand then uh, you just play your movie and see whether everything is fine or not so yes it is fine so i will just go like this i will just zoom out a little okay so we'll zoom out a little like this okay now what i will do sorry so what i will do is that i will go to this option go to files and i will choose this option which says record the movie okay but i will just first of all what i will do i will reduce the speed a little i will just record the movie i will press this button and uh, it will tell me which file type so i am choosing mp4 there are several options over here you can choose the way you want so let me just choose uh, the file type and i will just say movie okay i will say movie and i will say uh, these are all the different things that you can play with a starting frame ending frame step size okay rendering in chimera okay where is it okay chimera is good enough good enough advanced option for now everything seems to be uh, okay i mean and you can simply press on record okay so it says record movie finished just see where i have saved it okay so now if you just see the movie is saved over here so open it up with the vlc media player i'll press on select and as you can see this is how your movie has been created uh, this is basically the md movie you can provide this movie uh, in the supplementary material for any research article that you are uh, submitting if there is a need uh, so i hope this video is helpful to you
um, i will create new videos on, and in the next video i will explain how to perform uh, some calculations or and the post simulation assessments and to create graphs of rmsd rmsf radius of gyration and uh, hydrogen bond so catch you guys in the next one 